So we will proceed right now to our next discussion. Um, it's, we're still in our user-defined method, um, but uh, we will be um, talking about, or we will be um, intensively talking about the parameters in our method. I know that in our previous video, I already um, um, discussed the passing, um, the passing through of um, the event, oh, sorry, the passing through of values from one method to another. That's actually the purpose of the parameters, okay? So if we will discuss what is a parameter, um, a parameter is actually a value accepted by the method. So if you can see on our screen, or on my screen, uh, these are the two types of method parameters. First, with parameters, if you can see something like this, okay, it contains a method, and this one, it's without, uh, it contains a parameter, and this one, it doesn't contain any parameter, okay? But again, you can still use that one by calling the method. Okay, next one. So this is our example number three. So basically the purpose of this one, it's to let the user input two, um, two values. Then after um, the user inputted the two values, um, it will pass through to the two, I'm sorry, to the two uh, methods. First method, it's the square. Of course, the purpose of this one, it's two, um, to uh, what do you call this it's to um, the value will um, the value or the whole number it will multiply by itself and the other one it's to get the sum okay so right now I'll be showing my IntelliJ and one moment I'll be creating a new class for our class uh, method method um, example three okay so in our method example three just like what we did earlier uh, we will go ahead and um, input let me make it bigger or larger um, import the java that you tell because again we are letting the user input something here inside this one public static void main Okay, so uh, sorry, string arguments. Okay, here uh, I will now be creating my first. Um, I will be now creating my first um, um, first um, method. So public int. Then I will be using square. I know that in the presentation I use a void. The meaning of void, it will not return something. Uh, let me try to use that one instead so that you will see the difference. Okay. After that, um, I'll be creating an int um, val, then num, which is 10. So system that out dot print ln um, using square method without parameter sorry then system that out dot print ln again I'll be showing the square of uh, I'll call the num is one moment is I'll be calling the um, the val but before that I, I think I forgot to put val it's just num multiply it by num there you go so in the public void square method I did not um, use any parameter so it doesn't have any parameter for the next uh, for the next uh, what do you call this uh, for the next method um, I will be using um, still void sum uh, I'll be creating a sum method that has a 
int A, then int B. Okay, next, uh, I will be creating an int add that will compute the A, then the B. After computing that, I will just copy this one along using a with parameters this one's um, sum of a and one moment and b is i'll be calling the add here okay there you go after that one uh, one moment so since i'm done creating uh, my two methods again i use um uh, i use a void here the return value it's void um uh, sorry it's not a return val uh, it's a return value however it, it will not return anything because i use a void return value Okay, you've noticed that I did not put return here, right? Because again, by the use of void return type, um, it will not return any value. Okay, so here, scanner, um, input, mm -hmm, input, new scanner, system.in. Then I'll be using the method example 3 and I'll be creating an object. Object 3, then new. After that, val1, sorry, uh, value 2. Then I think I need to put the sum. There you go. Okay. After putting the sum, uh huh. I need to let the user right now enter something. Mm. System that output print, then enter first first value. So value one will be temporarily stored to I ah, sorry. Um, the inputted first inputted number of the user it will be in temporarily stored to the value number one then next I will be pasting this one second so value number two so after value number two this is the time that I will be calling the methods so basically in calling the methods all you need to do is to use an object three which is your object dot then the method name which is the square aside from that I will now be putting or I'll be um, encoding the um, object three again then uh, the sum here then in the sum I will be putting the value one and the value two there you go so, so you've noticed that even though that in the sum method, I pass a value, which is the value 1 and the value 2, to the sum method, it will not return something. Because inside the sum method, it will already um, show a display to the user. But for example, if you want to remove this, so you need to put int here and you need to return um, the add so that in this part sorry so that in this part uh, wait okay so that in this part i will now put the sum then object three dot sum value one value two Okay. so that I will be able to put here value 1 value 2 is sum there you go because I use a return statement here 
if I will try to run this one, um, for example, this 23, then um, 27. So here, so they're using a square, or sorry, it's not square. Yeah, this is correct. Sum is 100. But what happened here? There we go. Using with parameters here. It's still working. Am I right? There. Unfortunately, uh, no spaces. Okay. Okay. That is the process where, um, actually, this is the purpose of using a void and also using an int. So when you say void, it will not return anything. But if you would like to return a value, so you need to use a return here. But if you want to remove that, again, just like what I did earlier, all you need to do is just do that. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. One moment B and add. It, this will still run. One moment. Uh -huh. Add uh, what happened here. System that out. This is this is sum. Okay. Aside from that, uh, let me double check my code. A B can add. So what happened to this one? Okay, let me try to run this code. Oh, missing statement. Return. Ah, okay. So I use int. That's why it says missing statement. So for this one, I need to use void. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. So let me run again the program. Then put the first value. It's 23. Second value. It's 27. There you go. It's working well. 